How's it going? I'm Tyler Columbus. Uh, I'm a retired offensive lineman with the Denver Broncos. I got a chance to win the Super Bowl this year, and this is me unlocking the box. I guess we'll go straight to what everybody wants to see. And right here is our ring, which comes in a box that it lights up as you open it and close it so all the diamonds shine. Pull it out and it's got a Super Bowl 50 right there. That's the good part about winning this Super Bowl. I'll never forget it, 50. We got uh, three Lombardi trophies in there that uh, represents the, the three that the Broncos have won. Um, on the side, we got, uh, this one's for Pat. Does that show this the right side? Yeah. This one's okay. for Pat, uh, which John said afterwards. And uh, on the other side, we got our names and numbers. Most of us got it right, except for Wade Phillips. His apparently was incorrect. I'm trying to think of when the appropriate time is to wear this thing, like in the in real life, but uh, I'm pretty sure it won't come off my ring, off my finger for at least a week or two. And then I'll have to, I'll probably go in a safe because I don't know, that thing's pretty big. There was a lot of anticipation uh, as we were wondering what it was going to look like and there was some leaks online that you wondered uh, is that what the actual ring is going to be and uh, uh, I never saw this actual ring and this just totally exceeded all expectations. The box is one of my most favorite things of it, honestly. Just, I could open and close that all day, just looking at those diamonds shine. I think they said there's like 250 diamonds or something in there, and I can, Lord knows how much that thing's worth. So, the wives were not given a ring. However, wives, we were given an opportunity to buy a ring for our wife, and my wife has uh, survived an eight-year career, and, uh, uh, multiple cities and so I felt like she deserved one so this is my wife's ring which is very cool uh, a little bit more feminine so she might actually wear it I got a lot of game balls around here but this is hands down gonna be uh, the most valuable one it'll be sitting right there in the middle and uh, be showing off forever looks like we got just a team photo in there got a t-shirt <laughs> I'm a legend. Man, we got all kinds of stuff in here. I don't even know. We got cigars. Super Bowl 50 cigars. <laughs> They're probably dried out by now. I don't know if they want that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. That's about it. Ooh. Super Bowl champ. I mean, I can't imagine how much money they put into this party. It was like... It was like we were at the Emmys or something. And it, it, there was four different stages where the first one we went into the locker room and it was kind of a cocktail reception hour. They had live music going on in there. Got to get reacquainted with the guys. For me, it was really cool because I'm retired now. And uh, it was kind of like my last hurrah at, uh, at the stadium. And so after a little bit, after a while of hanging out in there, uh, they shuffled us out and said, all right, we're going to the next station. And so we, we went out of the locker room and, and down into the tunnel where they transformed it into this like, uh, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just a, a Taj Mahal uh, that was in, inside the bellies of the stadium that uh, every guy had a table with this stuff that uh, had your name and your banner and uh, you went and stood in front of this table. We had some of the, the, the Bronco greats come out and they actually served us uh, the keys to unlock our box. So that was really cool. We had Shannon Sharp and Atwater, Rod Smith, uh, 
uh, Alfred, uh, you know, a bunch of the legendary guys, they were actually serving us the keys out on like waiters plates that uh, uh, they came by and you took the key and then they were short on keys. So so then it was panic because it was like, hey, so everybody's got their keys. And then, no, we don't have them. <laughs> so there's there, there was, was pandemonium for a second there. And uh, in, in that time, uh, Sharp kind of took over and was just cracking jokes like he does. He's, he went around and took a collection pay, plate to sign Vaughn. So he was taking, <laughs> he, he was asking for money uh, to, to buy time to go sign Vaughn. Yeah, man, I mean, uh, after that, we all finally got keys, opened it up, and it was just kind of a party after that, just hanging out with the guys, and yeah, it was awesome.